consider myself a little bit of both, maybe Pakistani and Scottish, British. It's been quite a close family bond, I would say, and my granddad's the hub. I think that's what keeps everyone together here. We're all doing our best to inculcate in our children to be the best citizens. Being British Pakistani means drawing the best of both cultures, drawing the best of your British heritage and fusing them with the best of your Pakistani heritage. And I think I'm very, very lucky, and many people in my position who realize that are very, very lucky that they can draw from two brilliant cultures. मेरा नाम लाना आसम है मेरी उम्र है 82 साल तीन महीने सिक्सटी टू मैं इंग्लैंड चले गया अठारह सौ रुपए कराया था जहाँ का इंग्लैंड का As I was growing up as a child, there were very, very few children uh, of Pakistani or indeed Indian origin. So I remember being the only, you know, non-white child at primary school. We were very rare because most immigrants from Pakistan came as single men who left their families in Pakistan. We were the exception in that my mother and father came together in 1959. My name is Mehra Nisaman. I live in Glasgow. I am a software developer and a mother of two young children. <laughs> Ancestry Village is in Gujranwala. That's where my grandfather originates from. He was, I think, the first brown councillor UK has ever had. I think he left, obviously, at a young age as well, so, you know, he does like to go back and remember what once was, you know, and he's, he's accomplished so much in his life here in the UK. I think he just feels, you know, he still wants to have that link with, with Pakistan, with home, with home, which is what he calls it, so. Assalamu alaikum, Dad Abu. Wa alaikum, salam, kya 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 क्या कर रहे थे? कुछ भी नहीं बैठा हूँ मामू, लोग बैठे हैं इधर इधर। ये आइला से बात कर लें। हाँ, देर ही को। हेलो। अस्सलाम वालेकुम। How am I darling? How is my dear darling? When are you coming back? In about twelve days. Twelve days? Okay. अस्सलाम वालेकुम दादू। वालेकुम सलाम यंग मैन हाउ आर यू? I'm fine हम तो हाउ आर यू? Enjoy it, Karne? Enjoying the weather, enjoying the company, simple company. Dil to nahi kar raha hoga, wapas aane ka. Dil to nahi kar raha. 
No. <laughs> Jello, that's good. Well, as long as you're enjoying yourself, you know, obviously with all your friends, your family, etc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay, per dad. We'll stop going slam dinner per. Am I to say? Hello. I love this. I love this. मैं जब पांच साल का था तो मुझे मेरे वाल साहब स्कूल ले गए बहुत कम मुसलमानों के बच्चे जो स्कूल जाया करते थे रस्ते में उन्हें एक जमींदार मिला तो मेरे वाले साहब को कहते हैं सरदार मुंडे ने कुछ लेके चले हैं चाचा मैं स्कूल ले लेके चले हैं आखिर वो ये इस कड़ा जफरुल्ला बन जाना है कुछ ले चले हैं स्कूल ले इन जंगी दे पीछे ला हलवा है इंडिया में जिला हशारपुर में पैदा हुए बचपन तो बहुत नवाबों की तरह गुजरा जायदाद बहुत थी अपना घर याद आता अपना पिंड याद आता बड़ा खुश आता मैं तो उदा ही रखिया तो सामने सा पिंड बहुत बड़ा सारा से वो जो सिखा दे ना पंद्रह भी घर वो साढ़े घर तो एक पास से <laughs> बड़िया सहेलियां होंगे अपनी गली च ही अपनी गली च बुढ़िया ने आ खेल मैं उदा ही हूँ मैं गल कर ली मैं साढ़ा घर उदा ही मैं रखिया मोहरे दीस का The people didn't feel easy living under the British rule, under the rule of another nation. But we had no choice; they were the rulers, and they had the power. So nothing we could do; we had to go along. हम चाहते थे अब अपना मलक, जाती मलक. On August 14, 1947, a new nation was born. Lord Louis Mountbatten, last Viceroy of India, arrives to take part in the official end of British rule. Next to arrive is Muhammad Ali Jinnah, first Governor General. The new flag of Pakistan flies over a nation of more than 80 million, the largest Muslim state in the world. Gyaran 12 saal ki umr hai jab party se gadbad shuru ho gayi. शिवराज का महीना से जिस दिन असी घर तो उजड़े हैं ना गर्मी से तो ना सर्दी से सोहना मौसम से अभी तो सुबह सुबह का टाइम है किसी ने पकाइया किसी ने पका के खा लिया किसी दिन पक्या ही रह गई ना कोई चेता ना कोई ख्याल ना बड़ा सोहना दरवाजे अंदर आज बार आते खुले बार गली के खड़े हो गए उन्होंने इन्हें ऐलान ही किया उन्होंने कहा भी आज देख लो साढ़े को बंदूक या गोलियां पाई हो बेबस बेबस कुछ नहीं कर सकते तो हमारे हाथ खा ली थे उनके पास असले थे वो तो होना ही था नेचुरली कुदरती बात है वो तो होनी थी कि भाई अब हालात ऐसे हो गए हैं कि दो मुल्क हैं इन्होंने उधर जाना है वहाँ से लोग इधर आ रहे हैं हमारे पास तक खाने को कोई नहीं था पानी वो भी हाथों से बचने भी नहीं थे जिधर नमू करना लाशा ही लाशा बस बस चाहते बचपन हम कभी इधर दौड़ते कभी उधर दौड़ते कभी दीज पीपल वर फोर्स टू माइग्रेट दे आर नेवर प्रिपेयर दे कम मोस्टली एप्टी हैंडेड दे डोंट नो व्हाट दे हेल्थ दे आर गोइंग टू डू वेयर दे आर यू नो गोइंग टू लिव एंड व्हाट आर दे सरवाइव ऑन ऑल दिस तीन सौ मील पैदल सफर करके लाहौर आए तो मैं कुछ इन्वॉल्व था जो लोग जा रहे थे उनकी मदद करने में और जो लोग आ रहे थे उनको सेटल करने में गांव में सारे में 
जो जितना सामान छोड़ गए थे ना हिंदू और सिख वो लोगों ने जब लूटना शुरू कर दिया तो मुझे ख्याल आया कि ये तो वो जब आएंगे नए लोग तो वो क्या करेंगे मैंने कहा देखो सब को रोको और ये सारा सामान जो है इकट्ठा करो तो वो जब ये महाजर आए उस तरफ से तो इनको फिर इनकी जरूरियात के मुताबिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया गया हमारे यहाँ छप्पर होंगे छप्पर जी सारे पिंड हवा हवा चलते डेग पैने कदू पर सू कुछ नहीं मिले अगर किसी ने बहार जाना हो तो जा सकते हैं किराया एक मकान था वहा चाली बंद घर में एक कमरे में छे छे सात सात कुछ दिन अगर कम करते थे कोई रात करते थे अंग्रेजा के नाल लोग तो ये पाकिस्तानी अंग्रेजा ने घट मिलते थे मैं उन्होंने मिलता थी अस इस मुल्क से आए हैं सफाल के बहुत अच्छे लोग हैं हमारी बड़ी मदद करते हैं हमारे बच्चों को अज तक कोई तकलीफ नहीं किसी को ओ तक नहीं कहा बड़ी मेहनत की थी मैं पैसे को बैंक तो लै मैं रेस्टोरेंट की बिजनेस रखी सिक्सटी नाइन के फिर वो हाल तक भी मेरा हूँ किराया देता बच्चे पसंद नहीं करते तो हम सबे एजेंसी ले रही है सबे के पूरे डिस्ट्रिक्ट रन फ्रूर के बच्चे सबे की एजेंसी साढ़े को We were leading a dual life. On uh, one hand, the home culture was kind of Pakistani, but when we were at school and with friends, we hid that. Iman, Hamza, downstairs now. Okay. My friends would invite me to their house, and I was very embarrassed to invite them to our house because of the, you know, the smell of food and the smell of curry. I, I remember being bullied at primary school, and that, to me, was the start of what my own uh, perception of what racism was. I didn't know what racism was then. You don't learn about racism. You experience racism. Um, yeah. Food hall yeah. in Dolman Park. Yeah. I like that Different arcade food. area, especially that street home game and Roberto. I like that. Everything. So by 1970, when I was 10 years old, uh, there was a phenomena that sweep in England, a youth cult called the skinheads, and I remember living in fear of seeing skinheads on every street corner, because I used to uh, hear about reports of skinheads. The youngsters in in boots and short hair 
killing you know, East Pakistani youth in the East End of London, and their central plank of their youth culture was Paki bashing. And I remember thinking, well, why don't we go back to Pakistan? Why, why, why am I living in fear here? The term for us was colored person. They used to refer to us all, Pakistani businessmen, as Johnny the Darky, because they couldn't pronounce our names. We were just Johnny. <laughs> I'm worried about the future of my children growing up here because the rise of popularism, it's kind of turning against people of color, uh, people who are perceived as immigrants, or even though they've been born here. And there's a lot of blame culture going on. So I'm worried about their future. When I came to England for the first year or two, you had to do something to find your own feet. Uh, the situation at that time was the people who were living in uh, Glasgow, uh, between 100 and 200 Pakistanis, they were mostly illiterate. They needed a lot of help. And I was the first educated person who came to them. That's how this idea of helping people introduced me to politics. And when I got to know the local parties quite well, they started pressing me that you should also stand for the council. And I used to say, do you think, are you mad? Who would vote for me? They're all white people. White people won't vote for a black person. You want to insult me? So they said, oh no, but somebody got to do it. He said, you are now living here, settled here. You ought to play your part in all fields of life in this country. The one thing I think in my favor was that I had become quite well known. I was always in the press on speaking on behalf of the colored people, the Pakistanis and Indians. So therefore, most of the people who read newspaper or saw television, they knew me. So whenever I knocked the door and somebody came and ah, we know you. You are Bikan Man. <laughs> the election day, which was here in the Kelman Hall, there were three more candidates. Their boards put together, but not as much as my, my finger book. <laughs> The result was overwhelming. I was a magistrate of the city of Glasgow. So yeah, I am in the robes of the magistrate of the city. And I remembered very well how we always felt when we saw an Englishman, you know, and uh, how we passed through the roads when they were coming. So I remember all those things. And when I became a magistrate, and I saw people doing the same to me, those people, naturally there was a feeling of great pride. I lived my half of a life in Pakistan and came here. First day in my UK was uh, a bit damp because I came in October. Coming from Karachi, it was always a holiday with the rain and the damp, really, so I did enjoy it, but it was a bit chilly. So, yeah, it was happy, bitter and sweet all together, if I'll describe it. Yeah, I was born here and grew up here when there were very few uh, Asians around. And over the years, you know, the numbers have grown and grown. For me, it's, it's, it's a blessing, really. It's very welcome. In Karachi, we never eat sweet breakfast, just savory, or some kind of thing. And all I had a flapjack, cross, and Danish pastries for the breakfast. And I'm just sitting and thinking about 
is that's what I have to eat for the rest of my life. And he didn't even have the spices. And I thought, like, in England, we don't even have any spices. When we came to Luton to see Fahim's mum, and I just saw a big pantry full of spices, and I was just like, kind of, am I in a different world? Or the Fahim is in a different world, really? I said to mom, Fahim's mom, Mom, but we don't have that, anything. All I'm just eating whole week, the tin beans, which I hated, and till today I hate it because I think he fed me so much. Next time, I'll buy something from here rather than the stores. And she was really cross, so she, as soon as Fahim entered the house, she couldn't even hold back, and she said, shame on you, you're uh, making her hungry. What are we gonna answer her parents while we're feeding her? <laughs> I like living in a very diverse community. It's great that you can get to buy the kind of mangoes you get in Pakistan, and uh, you know the, the spices, etc. That's that's a wonderful thing because years ago I know it was very very difficult for my parents and that generation. Um, and I think it's very positive for this society that we've got so many Indian, Pakistanis, Asians, and other nationalities in the UK today. And I make a point of taking my children to Berry Park, just to sort of connect, really. I think it's important to take the children and get them to connect. Well, Isa was born on the same date of birth as Fakia, 26th of November. And he's now Jarmine for four months now. We got married in Lahore. 4th April 2015. Total arranged marriage. We didn't see each other before. So it just happened really quickly and it was just like a blur to be honest with you. Sometimes like my Urdu isn't too great or Punjabi but she, but she obviously speaks Urdu. Most of the time passes by by trying to understand one another. These are some of my cricket trophies and some of the teams I've played with as well. <laughs> I've met a lot of people through cricket here. The Asians, obviously, cricket's in their blood. And then maybe watching Imran Khan 92 World Cup, that's kind of inspired us all to, to go a little bit further. No, I must say cricket is a universal sport. Yeah. I mean, brings all countries and religions, whatever, together, all different races. How long are you playing together? Uh, well, if you take it, it's about 15 years, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, if you take it from the start, so. 15 years together? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> still going. Still, I'm, I'm, I'm still his friend. <laughs> <laughs> All throughout the 80s and the 1990s and 2000, I've worked with most of the major Pakistani artists. The connection between me and Kawali, I believe, is probably from listening to the music my father used to play when I was a youngster. And remembering that. Remembering the Madam Maskalanda by the Sabri brothers that was on a green vinyl record. Now in the UK, in the mid 80s, Pakistani music actually, as the communities grew here, got very, very popular. All the major festivals should see uh, Pakistani artists headlining a stage. 
So artists like Nuzrat Fateli Khan came in the, in the mid 80s. And I was involved in putting on a concert in Luton at the Luton Technical College with Nuzrat Fateh Ali Khan in 1985. The whole place was packed full of taxi drivers, Pakistani taxi drivers, who were fanatical fans of his. And at that time, we didn't refer to ourselves with religious labels. We weren't British Muslims. We were British Pakistani. And I think that provided a cultural reference for young people at the time. That hasn't happened now for the last 20 years. This is Aziz Mia, he's a very famous Qawwali artist. And now with the resurgence of Qawwali music in the UK, maybe that will change. Maybe, you know, the new young uh, group of young people will find cultural reference points through music. We can't really forget as well where we're from. And obviously, my roots are from there, and I'd like Isa to be kind of part of that as well, to kind of see where his uh, grandparents are, are from. And I think it's quite important that we maybe try and just so he's, he knows, because the culture is a little bit different here. Pakistani, you have to be a 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 Pakistani, you Adopt करनी चाहिए जो अच्छी चीजें हैं उनको adopt करना चाहिए और यहाँ की भी अच्छी चीजें जो हैं उनको adopt करना चाहिए। मैंने सोचा कि इस गांव ने मुझे बहुत कुछ दिया है। तो मुझे कुछ वापस भी देना चाहिए और मैंने ये समझा कि बच्चियां जो हैं उनकी तालीम के लिए अगर मैं कि यहां कुछ कर दूं तो वो बहुत फायदा होगा They really wanted to give back to their especially their village back home and it's all free education for the girls in the area so that's something he's quite proud of एक और बात है मैंने सुनी थी एक बहुत बड़े अपने बुजुर्ग से कि जो इल्म है वो माँ से शुरू होता है माँ इल्मवाली हो तो बच्चे भी इल्मवाले होते हैं अगर माँ के पास इल्म ना हो तो बच्चे वो इल्म नहीं हासिल कर सकते जो माँ की गोद में हासिल करते हैं ਕਿੰਨੇ <laughs> In a Bilgola Pani Biva Jera Pinda, so she was civilly for Kajandasi. Ochako in the own valley, Naku Malvi now, Teko cover Kadan Valley, Sanda Nakanya, Naku, Bugudra, Naki, Koyi, Vina cover Kadan Valley, and never came to a car behind the sea. Told that to be said to go to Miki. I only just come and visit here now and again, and 
You know, it's just heartbreaking listening to their stories, to be honest. I find it quite strange as well, especially when Hindu, Sikh, Muslim, they've all been living together for, I don't know, many hundred, hundreds of years, I don't know. And uh, for them just to turn on each other just like that, it makes me kind of angry in a way as well. Like, there's no, there's no need for all this because in the UK, you can see how everyone gets on with each other. ये चौदह का सुनो ना सत्तर हो जाने पूरे सत्तर सत्तर साल भी हो गया कल नहीं अंगलना If it wasn't for my granddad to come here and survive through that, obviously I wouldn't be here as well. I think it's uh, quite important to document because I think they will get lost down generations because only they've been through it. They they can only tell by their experience. To be honest with you, my granddad doesn't talk at all. We've never really spoken about partition times and partition. I think about the partition, again, I think I, we need to ask him. I think he, if, he, if he's, he thinks the other person is keen and interested to know the history, then he would tell us. जब टाइम नज़दीक आया चौदह अगस्त की पार्टीशन का तो यानी ये क्या किस कैसा एनवायरनमेंट था वह बड़ा एनवायरनमेंट उस इस वक्त बड़ा अजीब था कि क्या होना है क्या हो रहा है खासकर जहां मुसलमानों की आबादी कम थी ये मुझे याद है एक दफ़ा मेरा एक बड़ा अजीज दो था सिख भगवान सिंह उसका नाम था वो एंड वी वर वेरी क्लोज बड़ी अच्छी उस पर घोड़ी होती थी मैं उसके घर गया पार्टी में पहले तो मैं उन्हें उसकी बाल को उसको बैठ बैठा के बैठा बैठ के अगर तुम देखो खतरनाक हो गए हालात तो मेरे पास आ जाना मेरे गांव में वहाँ ठहरने जब तक हालात ठीक ना हो जाए वो कहते हैं ठीक है तो वो ये कि वो एक काफले के साथ चल पड़े हमारे गाँव से वो उनका गाँव जो है वो सात आठ मील दूर था लेकिन गुजरना हमारे गाँव से था उनका उस दिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली मैं गाँव में नहीं था तो जैसे आया काफिला मेरी एक अजीज से पूछा उन्हें जानता था वो कि भाई मान साहब कहाँ हैं आखिर वो तो यहाँ नहीं है ओह अच्छा आ, उसके फ़ौर बाद एक मील जाने के बाद वो काफिले पे हमला हो गया हमला जो हो गया तो मुझे घोड़ी लेना चाहते थे लिहाजा वो घोड़ी पर सवार हो के बेवकूफ वो भागा और को पीछे गोली मार दी वो भी चरम वहाँ मर गया और वो घोड़ी लेके चले गए जो है ना अब प्रेजेंट जनरेशन इनको वो एहसास नहीं है जो पार्टीशन में हुआ बाबा जी अगर अभी तक बड़े सगीर होता इंडिया पाकिस्तान ना होता तो फिर आपको क्या लगता है कैसे हालात होते हिंदू मुसलमान ऐसे ही जैसे पहले पार्टी हिंदू मुसलमान एक था नहीं अगर पहले रह सकते सके हम क्यों नहीं कट्ठे सारे रह सकते हूँ भी हम रह सकते हैं कोई चेर कानून कानून जो रह सकते हूँ भी रह सकते हैं और गल मजहबा ने खराब कर दी है हूँ मुसलमान ने किन्ने मतलब बन गए किन्ने की दे The way is got separated Indian Pakistan it was a slack on of divorce within a, uh, people woke up in the morning and they just found out that they're the new country the new uh, part of the world and the people who got misplaced they become alienated so i think that trauma is never going to go away i don't think it's that easy for people to forget about what they have sacrificed Tonight's show is a unique show. It's brought to you by Luton Culture, Luton's very own arts and cultural charity, um, in conjunction with the Asian Arts Agency. So please welcome onto the stage Rizwan Mozam 
شوالی گروه اون پاکستان گر خدا طلبی لا الہ الا ہو اجلا میں نے تو آڈے نہ تے پتا تے یہاں نہ پیارا او دا میں نو اس قوم دے نال انگریزاں دا پیارا ایتھے جمے پڑے تے بڑا اے مرو جا پیار تو اڈو اے نہیں ਸਾਡਾ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਬਸ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਤਾਲਾ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਅਸਮਾਨ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਇੱਜ਼ਤ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਰੋਜ਼ੀ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਮੇਂ ਦਾ ਜੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੱਕ ਹਲਾਲ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਸਲਾ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਤੇ ਗੋਰੇ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਾਸ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਮੇਰੀ ਚੌਥੀ ਨਸਲ ਐਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਪੁਰਾ ਸੋਚ ਸਕਦਾ I think I'm really kind of more prouder than any Pakistani because I can call two places my home really and I share the value from both sides and it's kind of brought to my horizon as well I just live in Pakistan and then come here and merge and to see the different kind of groups emerging and live with harmony next to each other Alhamdulillah for the British Pakistani community my message really is to uh, you know get involved get active contribute something you know and change change your situation Allahu Allahu Allah And that's what I've tried to do and in my own little way I think I've changed hearts and minds I firmly believe that and that's what that's what I'm in this game for really Allahu 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 after being elected as a councillor a year later i stood for the parliament but i lost and a sikh friend of mine came to me in punjabi she she said bada afsos hai ki tusi jitte nahi jitni gal mein yaad aa rahi hai ki ke saun padu da mahina hunda te zameen tap di hundi badal aunda hai kani ni de rahi kani kyon ni de di ਉਹ ਡਰਦੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਸੜ ਗਈ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਡਿੱਗਾ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਇੱਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਡਿੱਗ ਡਿੱਗਦੀ ਤੇ ਮੀਂਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਵਰਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਕਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਹੋਏ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਦੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਦੈਟਸ ਮਾਈ ਲੈਗੇਸੀ